Kayla Jones longed for children. However, aged 17, she had surgery that made it difficult for her to conceive. Kayla's heart fell when she was told she could never have children. At 29, she married her future husband. They wanted more pets despite having them. They longed for children. That's when her mother-in-law made an offer they couldn't refuse. Kayla's husband knew about her health issue, but he promised her that they could have children. After months of trying to conceive, they realized they needed an expert. They didn't anticipate further complications. Kayla's doctor confirmed her infertility after several tests. Kayla was heartbroken. Are you sure? She cried. Could I treat it? The doctor could not help her. Kayla felt her motherhood dreams slipping away. Cody, her husband, was upset, but he didn't tell her. He hid his emotions and pretended not to care about the news. They wanted children, but adoption seemed their only option. Cody's mother's big plan was unknown to them. Kayla felt terrible she couldn't give her husband what they wanted. She worried he would leave her for a childbearing woman. She needed a serious talk with him. Cody's reaction surprised her. Kayla and Cody knew they needed a plan. They wanted kids. If you like my videos, don't forget to like or subscribe. Thanks in advance. Kayla's husband-wife talk would make or break them. They had a long conversation about children, and then Cody finally told her what he thought they should do. Before the doctor visit, the couple thought they could have children. Kayla was sure that her illness would pass and that she would become a mother. Cody advised her to adopt instead of divorcing. Would Kayla agree? Kayla didn't want to adopt because she always wanted a child. Since she had no other choice, she considered adoption. They researched it online, but they had no idea what would happen to them. Kayla and Cody didn't give up on having children. After researching adoption, another issue arose. They didn't realize how hard adoption would be. The unexpected news made them think they couldn't do it. Kayla and Cody couldn't afford adoption legal fees. Thus, they abandoned adoption. They chose IVF. Is this option expensive too? Kayla said she had a partial hysterectomy at 17. Doctors found a cancerous tumor taking over my uterus. My uterus was removed, and the biopsy was benign, she said. My ovaries didn't have to be removed, so I can still have a biological child, but I can't carry it. Kayla and Cody considered surrogacy after IVF failed. Their last option. Cody told his mother, Patty, about their fertility struggles. Patty loved her son's wife like a daughter. Patty supported them throughout. She would do anything to give her son a child. She surprised the couple. Patty would fulfill their lifelong dream. Kayla's ovaries survived. After several surrogates, nothing worked. After several miscarriages, Cody's 50-year-old mother offered to carry their child. Patty's age initially swayed the doctors, but they approved. Kayla said, after much testing, my mother-in-law was cleared to carry our baby. In March 2017, Kayla's mother-in-law received an embryo from the couple's fall 2016 IVF. It failed. Two months later, after another treatment, Patty gave another urine sample at home before work. Kayla and Cody took it home to test positive. Pregnant Patty. Kayla said seeing two pink lines was indescribable. I knew it would work. They informed Patty of their pregnancy at work. We drove to her work and told her we hadn't tested. We laid that test in front of her, and the tears started flowing, Kayla said. The couple worried even though Patty passed all medical tests. Should she get sick? What if she miscarries? She was 50. This age is risky for having children. Patty was healthy, but having a baby was risky, so Cody and Kayla wanted to make sure she was sure. Patty's promise to be their surrogate worked. She delivered healthy cross Alan Jones on the 30th of December 2018. Cody and Kayla were overjoyed to meet their son. Kayla says she's amazed at this sweet miracle. 
Having him via surrogacy was not always easy, especially for Patty, but having him here makes all the hard days worth it. How did Patty feel carrying her grandchild for nine months? Patty said she would do it all again in a heartbeat despite her difficult pregnancy. This family's surrogate, a family member, worked well and was cheaper. I've recently had the privilege of carrying my own grandchild for my son and daughter-in-law, Patty said. This has blessed me and Kaylor's family. Patty continued, a child is a lifetime commitment, and I knew there weren't two more deserving people than them. To see them with cross and see the parents, they are already thrilling, my soul. Patty seems happy to surrogate her child's child. Patty had no health issues after having her grandson. Despite their rare case, family members should not be surrogates. Find someone unrelated to the couple. Kayla is forever grateful to her mother-in-law for having her son. They will always remember her gift. Happy and healthy, their son. Kayla and Cody's parenting experience? The couple is enjoying parenthood despite the adjustment. Since Cross was born, Kayla and Cody are happier and their marriage is stronger. They inspire other parents to persevere. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next video.